Hey everyone, and welcome to another one of Sensei's midweek episodes. Uh, today I am focusing on the new season for Apex Legends. It's season 11. It's uh, dubbed the season Escape. This one does have an island theme, uh, Caribbean beach with the sand. Um, as you can see here, Battle Pass is uh, stays at 100, and if you continue to 110, you get the evolution of the gun skin. This one. For this season, looks like they're using and focusing the Prowler for the uh, ultimate uh, skin at the end of the battle pass. Uh, I'm highlighting here some of the uh, some of the skins that you see uh, with, when it comes to the battle pass, just on tier one. Um, but it looks like this season they've included Ash. If you're not familiar, that's the newest character. If you're not familiar with Ash, she comes from way she comes way of Titanfall 2, the campaign. I will not spoil that campaign in this video if you have not played that uh, game yet or that campaign yet. Shame on you. You should. Uh, it is uh, It is one of the best campaigns that I've played in a long time. Single player campaigns I've played in a long time. Um, because one, they didn't have campaign. Two, did it include a campaign. I thoroughly enjoyed that campaign. It's a beautiful story. It's a be it's just the pacing, the writing, the character the development was great in that story. So go ahead and play that. Do yourself a favor and, and, and play that campaign. It's really, really good. Um, if you do have Game Pass, uh, you can access it through the EA, EA Pass uh, portion of, of the uh, subscription. And you can download and play that uh, full on with achievements and everything. Uh, what I'm showing off here is some of the, the skins that are included in the Battle Pass. Is there's a Gibraltar skin. Uh, I, that's, I think out of all the skins I've seen in this Battle Pass, that has got to be my favorite skin of all uh, of this Battle Pass. It just looks, looks, <laughs> looks dynamic, looks good. Looks really good. As you can see, I'm showing off some of the weapon camels as well on this uh, this battle pass. But it looks like um, they the gun they've included as well is called the car. It comes from Titanfall's multiplayer. The car is an SMG. But what I've what I and you're gonna see later on in this video, what I've come to see is that uh, I didn't know this, but they added two ammos to the one gun, meaning you can switch from light ammo to heavy ammo. You can carry both ammo for this one SMG and, and and you know flick it back and forth to whichever one you need or want to use at the time. Um, but uh, I believe the the light ammo is meant for to to rip through uh, armor, and then the heavy ammo is slows the enemy down when you shoot them with those bullets. Is what those attributes are to those two bullets. It's why you would need or you would have two different uh, variations when it comes to what kind of bullets you're having in your gun. Um, but I think that's pretty neat. It's the first time they did that in, in Apex where they included you can you know switch back and forth with ammo. That's pretty neat. Also, what I noticed, and you see later on this video, is that when you do switch back and forth, it automatically reloads your previous ammo. So, for example, if you shoot the heavy ammo and you leave it with a few bullets in it and you, you change it over to the light ammo, the moment you come back to heavy ammo, it's already reloaded without you having to do the reload animation i think that's pretty cool um it's almost like one of those mods that they've had uh, i think they've had that mod before or they have that mod in this game where if you put your gun away and you bring it back it'll it'll automatically reload the gun well this this smg the car smg will have that which is pretty cool um you can see the weapon skins here um i did a couple at the at the end of this video i did a couple of i shot the wall so you can see the difference between light ammo and heavy ammo i didn't notice a difference if you guys can see a difference you let me know i really didn't notice a difference on it um but because it, it, it just it just read up and right it was the reek of the the pattern i saw so you guys let me know that um and then her abilities her passive looks like it's like um it's something like a how can i explain this like the arc grenade or the arc star i should say where it has a electric shock value to it. Um, what it does is that when you throw, it's like a little dagger knife you throw with the left bumper. Uh, that's not the passive, I apologize. But with the left bumper, you throw it at the enemy or anywhere around the enemy, and it, it, it there's a radius, a certain radius that if the enemy gets caught in that electricity uh, area, they slow them down. Just similar like an arc star, it slows them down. Um, it also takes, they take damage about 20, 20 I, I believe it was 20 is what I saw when I was using it. Um, 20 is what they take off on that. Her passive, uh, very interesting. Her passive, if you, uh, let's say that you're going up against a squad and you shoot one of them down and they go down, you're able to like stab that that person and, and scan their other buddies. It'll it'll actually highlight them in red for you to see where they're at. So if you kill uh, uh, one of the team members uh, and you, you go up to their body, you stab them and you literally scan to see where the other, where, they're where that person's teammates are at. 
which is pretty cool. That allows you to under, have a better understanding of where they're at, where they're up top above you in the building, that sort of stuff. Her LB, uh, which is, uh, that's the one I was, I, was, I was getting at. That was the arc star. But her ultimate, her ultimate is a sword that she throws similar to what Wraith does with the portal. Um, but this one is shorter in time. Um, and it, it seems like um, it's the same distance as Wraith as far as her portal hole, her worm portal hole goes. But this, you don't, you don't, you don't activate and run like Wraith does. With this, it's a sword. You throw the sword as far as you can, and wherever that sword lands, that's where the portal opens up, and it teleports you to that side of the thing. Unlike Wraith's uh, portal, which is both sides are open, and you can go back and forth on both sides of the, of the portal holes. With her, or with Ash's ability, you don't have that. With Ash, you simply wherever wherever you throw a sword at. You, you're open that, that's your ending and there's you have to go all the way back to where you originally threw the sword from to go back into the portal and do that but it's it's sort of um think of it as more of an evasive move just uh, on one a one way invasive uh, a one way evasive move where you get away from the enemy uh i think that's pretty cool if you have teammates around you they they're able to use that portal as well but it's only a one way you don't go back and forth just like you do with wraith um that's the ultimate on that other than that, that's the uh, update I have for you on this video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, it again, this is the season 11 of Apex. It just start, started yesterday. I look forward to playing this. I'm probably going to end up streaming this as well um, throughout the week. So you guys stay tuned to that on my Twitch channel. Other than that, that's my update for today's Sensei's Midweek. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share this out, and comment in the box what you guys think. But until then, happy fucking gaming.